please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Add another user to your Chromebook. I'm Huey Poplock. Chromebooks are often bought as laptops for families to be shared between parents and kids or passed around among friends. And because a Chromebook may have more than one user, it needs to have more than one login so that each user has access to their own personal apps and content. I sometimes loan my Chromebook to a friend to help them decide whether to purchase a Chromebook or not. Adding a new user to a Chromebook is not difficult. Here's how to do it. Click on the button in the lower right corner, the one that shows the time, battery life, and so on. Then click on sign out at the top of the pop-up window. You'll be brought back to the sign in screen. At the bottom left of the screen, click on the button labeled add person. Here's the left corner up close. You'll be asked whether you want to add an adult, assuming you're an adult, or a child. Make a selection and then click on the next button. Have the new user sign in using their Google account, or they can create a new account if they don't already have one. They'll need to know their password. Then there will be a series of questions. The first ask to sync your Chromebook apps, settings, and more. Also, to sync your Chrome browser, bookmarks, history, and other Google services. Accept and continue. Of course, there is the usual TOS, or Terms of Service. There is a checkbox on that page that allows all of your data to be backed up to Google Drive. If you don't want that to happen, uncheck the box. You'll also be asked if you want to allow the system to use your location. You can uncheck that box as well. And if you want to review your Google Play options after setup. Click More, then Accept. You'll also get a chance to use Google Assistant with the Chromebook. You may agree here for the spoken command. You're all set. You now have two separate accounts. Both accounts in the test belong to me, but you can add anyone you want. And you're done. You're now in the second account. This is the default screen. Let's open the Files app. When you do, you'll see the files on the Chromebook for this account only. Any files on the optional SD card will be visible by both accounts. The safest thing to do is to keep your account separate and just go back to the lock screen when somebody else wants to use the Chromebook. Click on the clock in the lower right corner to bring up the quick settings menu. Click on the sign out button. Then you'll be taken back to the lock screen where you can sign in to the other account. To remove the second account, third should you have one, click the down arrow next to the username. You will get this dialog box. Click on remove account. You are reminded that everything associated with that account including files and local data, will be deleted. If that's okay, click on Remove Account. Immediately, that account and all of its files are removed. You are brought back to the main sign-in screen. If you want to allow somebody to use your Chromebook just for a few hours, it's probably easier to simply have them sign in as a guest. Sign out of your account so that you are back to the sign on screen. Click on the Browse as Guest button in the lower left hand corner of the screen. When you're in guest mode, you can browse, use Bluetooth, adjust the font size and more, but you can't save anything to the computer. When you're done, according to Google, your files, cookies, website data, and browsing activity will be automatically deleted. 
Clicking on the Everything or Search button gets you this screen. What's available in the guest account? You can open a website by typing in the URL in the address bar. To exit guest mode, click on the time button in the lower right corner of the screen. Then click on the exit guest. You're back to the logon screen. That's how to add another user on your Chromebook. I'm Huey Poplock.